from their own 43-yard line. Mendenhall gets the call. The stop was made by Kendrick Lewis. Kendrick Lewis makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Still looking for an open man. Short throw to the right. Derek Johnson was there for the stop. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop. They hand it off. He's wrestled down around the 26-yard line by Carr. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Gives it up the gut. Picks up six yards. Second and five coming up here. Pitch right. And he makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Eric Berry was there to bring him down. Eric Berry tracks him down, wraps him up for the tackle. It's number five on the day. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. Goes through his progression. Couple of yards there. Is this a first down? Well, here comes the measurement. And it appears that the coach will keep his offense out there. Searching for an open man. Dumps it out right. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. They'll start at the 17-yard line. First down and 10. And the tackle was made by Lamar Woodley. Lamar Woodley has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. Makes the throw over the middle. Number 89 was the intended receiver. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 19. Looking for a big game down the middle. The Steelers did an excellent job tackling and keeping things in front of them on that series to force the three and out. Brown takes it at the 33. The stop was made by Leron McClain. They'll go to work at the 36-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Surveys the field. Passes out to his right. Deep throw! The receiver gets past the coverage! He's knocked out of bounds at the 33. The big game through the air sets up the offense with another first and 10. Looks right, throws. Eric Berry was there for the stop. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. That's a pretty play, isn't it? Anytime you get that pitch to the outside, the Running back catches it in stride. He finds a nice hole, pick up the first down. Always like watching that play. Hands it off. Hammered in the backfield. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he uses athleticism to make a big stop in the run. They get it out there on the toss. Touchdown, Steelers. Now they're down by two scores with... Not a lot of time left. It's going to take 
One heck of a finish to come back in this one. Well, that touchdown really hurts there. They still had a shot in this game, but uh, now with a two-score difference, makes it awfully tough. Pittsburgh is ready to kick this one off. Number 22 stands back to field the kick, and it's fielded at the four. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. James Ferrier was there to bring him down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 25. Between the tackles. He's tackled around the 29-yard line by Palamalu. Brings up second down and six yards to go. Looking for a man. A deep strike over the middle. It's Tim, and he still makes the catch. It's always kind of funny to think about with all the big guys that play the game of football. Sometimes it's the little wide receivers that scare you the most. By time with his feet. And the tackle was made by Lamar Woodley. The Chiefs will take their last time out. Second down and nine. Ball's on the 17-yard line. And he just throws this one out of bounds. So, third and nine coming up right here. Pass is short right side. This is close. Did he come up with it? The field goal unit is on the field. It's up. And it's good. So the score now, the Chiefs, 16. The Steelers, 24. Low line drive kick. It's not going very far. The Steelers get the ball back. The stop was made by Javier Arenas. You know, that's a hard play to second guess. I'm sure they saw something on film that made them feel like they had a chance there. But all of a sudden, this one-possession lead could go to a two-possession lead in a big hurry. And he'll just kneel it here. Seems like the defensive pressure has a little rattled out there, Chris. Yeah, Gus, certainly seems that way. He's been quick to tuck and run rather than sitting in the pocket and finding the open man. No question about it, but it's got to be hard to be comfortable in that pocket when it keeps collapsing around him. They go with the pitch to the right. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. Yeah, they did a really nice job sealing off the corner there and good vision that time by the back. A lot of patience, took his time, found the hole, picked up a nice game. Pitch right. He's got room. Boy, if you can get that block on the edge out there, when you have a guy with this kind of speed and quickness, it just makes that play so much easier. And defensive coordinators go crazy. That's the one thing any defense should be able to do is contain that outside pitch. They get it out there on the toss. And he's tackled around the 12-yard line by Washington. They're looking now at second and eight. So, ball on the 14-yard line. They go with the pitch to the right. He's dropped down around the 13-yard line by number 50. 